It's the moment hundreds of seniors at Yes Prep schools worked years for. Senior Signing Day. 18,000 people pack into Minute Maid Park to watch Yes Prep seniors take the stage one by one. announces where they'll go to college. We think that going off to college is just as exciting as celebrating a professional sporting event. But for one graduating senior, the path to a full ride scholarship hasn't been easy. Bitia Eleni's home was devastated during Hurricane Harvey. And it's also in the kitchen. She, her parents, and her two brothers were trapped inside their house in Pasadena as floodwaters began pouring in. We all just kind of like huddled up in my mom's bed because that was the only high place we had. We didn't know what we were going to expect, if there was going to be anyone who was going to come save us or if they were just going to have to wait until it all calmed down. Everything they had was destroyed. Our car was submerged underwater. There was mold in the house. Things were kind of smelling like mildew. It was just really, really bad. When BTA returned to school at Yes Prep Southeast, she ran into her teacher from the year before, Erica Kong, who made her an offer she couldn't believe. She was kind of reluctant to tell me, but eventually she did open up and let me know everything that was going on at her home. We had the space at, at our house, and I, and I offered it to her and her family. BT and her family, who immigrated from Mexico, all moved in with Miss Kong and her fiancé in their Heights home. If you have the means to help someone, you should help them. That's just always how I've kind of lived my life, and so I just felt like that was the right thing to do. Miss Kong pitched in to help the family who lost their car during the flood. I would take them to school every day, every morning. And through it all, Bitia helped translate for her parents, who speak mostly Spanish during the rebuilding process. So I had to translate, help with the inspector in the house, go back to the house, try to take out all the junk that's in there, and then try and also go to school. It took nine long months, but now Bitia and her family are finally back inside their own home. It's not at, at its tip-top shape as it used to be, so there's still things that we're missing, like we're still missing the living room. There's not really much place for you to sit if you come over. We're just kind of like on boxes, on top of boxes. But we try to make the best of it. The next day after they had left, it felt really weird to like have like no one in the house. Even though it's been the hardest year of her life, Bitia powered through four advanced placement courses and is graduating in the top 10% of her class. This was the moment she's been waiting for all year. Bitia earned a full scholarship to Rhodes College in Tennessee and hopes to eventually become a doctor. I want to be a part of Doctors Without Borders. It's a nonprofit organization that just tries to help out refugees, war zones. I'm really proud. I'm also not shocked. She's the kind of student that every teacher would love to have in the classroom. Like I would just would have loved to have a classroom full of BTS. It would have made my job so much easier. We often talk about, yes, at how we are a family-oriented school. And in my mind, this is exactly what that means. You had a teacher who saw a need and acted. Now this teacher and her former student have a bond that goes far beyond the classroom. <laughs>